everybody, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious deviled eggs. So you're going to boil and peel 12 eggs for this recipe. Um, and just so you know, for this video I cut the recipe in half, but I am going to tell you what the full recipe is. Um, so you'll need 12 eggs. And um, I have seen this trick before where you take a spoon and you kind of run it underneath the shell. And that worked really well for my eggs that had, I don't know, boiled good, I guess. <laughs> but then some of the eggs I almost completely destroyed <laughs> getting the shells off. So I might have to come up with some tips and tricks about peeling boiled eggs because it is not easy <laughs> when it seems like it should be. Um, so I'm peeling all of these eggs and um, once I peel them, I'm going to do the classic thing. You cut them in half and then you're going to remove the yolks into a separate bowl. But, geez Louise, Goose picked right now to drink water out of the water bowl. And it's very loud. I, I hope you all can't hear this. So, anyways, <laughs> you can see here I really had a hard time with this one. <laughs> um, so I'm cutting, the, I'm cutting the eggs in half long ways. Hot dog style, not hamburger style. That's how we said it in elementary school when we were talking about folding paper. And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to very gently scoop out the yolks. And I'm going to put the um, whites on a plate and the yolks go in a bowl. Um, but these were so easy to make. Um, I have always thought of deviled eggs as being like, kind of, one, I don't like hard boiled eggs. But two... Um, they always seem kind of labor intensive because I only ever see the finished product where you have like a boiled egg and then you have the whatever, you know, the yolks and things piped into the middle. But it really didn't take that long to make these, um, which, you know, th I think this is one of the first time I've ever actually made deviled eggs because it's just not something that I make very often. So, but anyways, so then I put in um, one and a half teaspoons of whole grain mustard and about half a cup of mayonnaise into my egg yolks bowl. And then I added two tablespoons of chopped pickles. You could use relish. Um, we like to use the Wickles Pickles brand pickles. <laughs> and um, my husband ate these and he really loves pickles. So I left them, I left my pickles a little bit chunkier. Um, if you have people who maybe don't like pickles as much, <laughs> you could chop them up smaller, but I knew that he would appreciate a good, a good chunky pickle in the deviled egg filling. So I, I only chopped them up a little bit. So once I added my pickles in, I'm just going to give this a quick mix, um, it probably would have been a really good idea to kind of bust up the yolks a little bit before I mixed, but I don't think it's super necessary. It just would have been easier um, because my yolks were kind of firm. They were a lot firmer than I thought they would be. So anyway, so I'm going to mix this up really well. And then I didn't have any piping bags and I wanted it to look nice. So I scooped my millet mixture into just a plastic Ziploc bag. I squeezed it all into the corner and then I cut the corner off so that I could easily pipe it into into my eggs. And you can see there I am with my plastic bag and I just snipped the corner off and now I'm just piping them, piping it in. Um, and then for a garnish for these, I did a little paprika sprinkle on top. If you saved some of your extra pickle, you could do a little pickle on top, a little relish, some paprika, some green onion would probably be really good. Um, you could garnish these with whatever you want, but the traditional kind of classic garnish is a little sprinkle of paprika. And a quick tip for when you're sprinkling seasonings like that on things, the higher up that you hold the seasoning, um, the better coverage you'll get. It won't all land in one spot. It'll, it'll sprinkle better. <laughs> it'll spread out better. That's what I'm trying to say. So sprinkle from a little higher up uh, than you think you than maybe you normally would, but that's it. If you want to see more recipes like these, check out loavesanddishes.net. If you want to hear more from myself and my mom, we do have a podcast. It's called Dorks with Sporks, and you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're putting out a new video every Monday through Friday, and thanks for watching.